Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to part 14 of my Saint 11 LP here on The Sims 4. So, as you can see, <laughs> Vincent looks a little bit angry and that's because um, it was just after the party in the last episode, you know, they had a little house party because Penny and Vincent moved in together. So they had a little like housewarming sort of thing and it was kind of late after the party and Penny said that she had to go out somewhere. Now it was very late and you know, Vincent was a little bit suspicious, like what's, what's this got to do with? And she didn't really say and she just went. So Vincent decided to follow her and she came to Oasis Springs to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar and she is here with somebody and they've they've been caught flirting by Vincent. Now, Vincent's so angry, he just doesn't even know what to do. It was only yesterday, well, the same day as this, when Penny moved in with him. So he's just in total shock and he doesn't know what to do. So he's just reacting to it now. And as you can see, he's pretty angry. And, you know, I just... He's, he's just going to go and shout at him because... Oh my god, I, I, I can't even believe this. I, I don't even know why Penny's doing this. But Vincent's kind of just realised right now who this actually is. Now... This person is actually a police officer. Now, it kind of makes Vincent a little bit scared. He kind of just wants to get out of here. He's seen him before around the area when he was, um, you know, just doing, just patrolling the area and he's just realised. So, Penny's kind of got a connection with this person. And now, you know, uh, getting involved, a police officer getting involved with Penny is a little bit suspicious because Vincent has this huge secret. And he, I don't know where he's going because he's not going anywhere. Vincent isn't finished with him. He has no idea why he's, he's just doing this to him. And wait, what on earth is happening here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> the walls are all funny. Um, so he's just going to do a couple of rude things here because... You know, this just isn't good. I'm um, just going to, you know, do a couple of rude interactions and things like that of sort. And then he's going to have to go and talk to Penny because he, he doesn't know why this is happening. It's just totally random. Though on such a good note, you know, Penny was in a really bad place. And Vincent took her in to live with him because, you know, she was homeless. And now, now this is happening. It just doesn't make any sense at all. So now he's going to shout at Penny because this is just totally... Oh my God, he, he's just so annoyed. Oh, but then he's not going to break up because, you know, Penny is somebody that he really wants to be with. And he's looking at her really confused, like, why would you do this? Maybe it was just a misunderstanding and he doesn't really know a lot about what's just happened. But, you know, it is... Oh, God, I don't know. Let's see what mood has she got. Is she, like, feeling... I don't know. She's not... She's feeling totally normal. She doesn't even think that anything bad's happened. Um, What's this mood like that he's got? Drift in love. So, yeah, he's caught in a cheating... Oh my god, he's just so angry. He's just gonna go. He's just gonna go back to the house because you know he's just sick of of this. Um, he'll he'll you know he'll finish off in the morning with this because he's just he's just, oh my god, what a mess this is. You know, oh my god, I don't even know what else to say. I'm just literally speechless. So I'm gonna get him to go back to the house and I'm gonna let Penny you know finish off what she's doing. I don't really think Vincent wants her back at the house tonight. I don't know what's gonna happen. So let's. Let's meet Vincent back at the house and see what's going to be next. Okay, so Vincent went to sleep for a couple of hours, but, you know, Penny still isn't home. And that's making Vincent a little bit suspicious because, you know, he's, he's, he's just been... Well, oh my God. She has just been caught cheating with somebody else in front of Vincent. And, you know, she would think that she would try and explain to him, but, you know, he, she hasn't. So, you know, Vincent's just really shocked and a bit confused, so... Yeah, but as you can see, the house is still a mess from the party. So I'm going to get him to put all this food away because it is still really nice, actually. Um, and I've also realised I've got two bins in this house. There's one there and one here. But it was a couple of episodes ago and I didn't realise that this bin over here was still there. Um, so as you can see, I've got two bins, which is okay. Um, so I'm going to get him to clean up a little bit. He's just going to stay up for a little while longer to see if um, if Penny comes home or not because it doesn't really look like it. It's nearly, well, it's 3am now and she still isn't home. You can't see her around the area or anything, and you know, I don't know why Sophia's playing the guitar at 3am in the morning. I don't know. Oh, well. Um, so he's just really, really angry. I don't know how long he's going to be in this state for. 20 hours, oh my god. So I'm going to get him to just go back to bed and see if, if by the morning she arrives home. I'm not too sure. Let's wait and see. Okay, so it's like 6am and Penny has just arrived home and Vincent heard her come through the door and he got straight up and came, as you can see, there's like green gases coming off his body because he just hasn't had a shower in a while, but oh well, let's just ignore that for a second. So she just came through the door and they've just sat down together and he's just been shouting at her like, when earth have you been, I've just caught you cheating and you've been out all night, were you at his house? And you know, she's, he's just not letting her explain and you know, he's just going to tell him, oh my God, <laughs> she is just going to tell him that um, I've just 
been out for I just wanted to give you some space I know that you'd probably be a little bit angry and he's like yeah of course I was angry I just caught you cheating the day after you found out that you've just been homeless and I you know I brought you into my house um but you know and their relationship just got on the next level the same day but um you know it's it's just a mess isn't it so oh my god this is the same person James I don't know why he's calling her um because Penny was just about to tell tell Vincent that um, it was all a bit bit of a misunderstanding. He came on to me and uh, I just didn't know what to do. So I just went along with it because I didn't know, you know, he seemed to be a police officer. You know, he might have some power. If I didn't go along with it, then, you know, so that's why she did. And, you know, Vincent isn't really paying much attention to it. She ca- he kind of believes her, but, you know, he's still a little bit unsure. So he's not right back to how he was in their relationship. He's going to take a little while. He doesn't want to jump straight back into it because he doesn't know what other secrets he's going to find. But he's got his own secrets to worry about. So he's have to be careful about what he says because you know she has something that she could backfire with um so i'm gonna get him to use the toilet and fix up his needs because it's just in a total mess this morning isn't it um he needs to use the shower and as you could see uh she was he was well <laughs> james was calling penny just then and you know he, penny just didn't really answer it um she was just saying oh it's just a work colleague she, he was, she was just asking for a couple of things for work tomorrow and vincent didn't think anything of it so just does, does uh penny really have a relationship with him well, I don't think so, but, you know, Penny might have been following for him a little bit, which, you know, I don't know why, because she's kind of, like, decided to move into this place and start a relationship with Vincent, who doesn't really have a lot. But on the other hand, there's uh, James, who seemed to have more than uh, that Vincent does, but, you know, she decided to go in a relationship with Vincent. So it seems like she's in more love with Vincent than James, but, you know, the, her mind might have changed, and that that can happen. But I hope it hasn't, because I thought P- uh, Penny would be the perfect person for Vincent. But we're going to have to find out a little bit more about that now, because I'm starting to have second thoughts. Um, I'm going to see what her needs are like. They're all pretty good, actually, but I'm going to get something to... Um, let her hunger go over a little bit. Um, let's see. I'm just going to get her to have some pancakes and clean up this a little bit because it is getting a mess again. Um, and Vincent is still very sad and angry. And I'm going to get him to fix up his needs as well. Um, as you can see, his fun is very, very low. So I'm thinking about going out um, for a couple of drinks maybe with one of his friends because he doesn't really spend a lot of time with his friends actually. It's just really him by himself working and then occasionally he goes out on a date with someone. But he doesn't really have any friends just for that sort really. I'm, I want him to go to the bar actually and uh, use the karaoke because that is one of the the real reason he came to Samai Shuno was to improve his uh, singing skill. And he hasn't had the opportunity to do that because with coming to Samai Shuno, all that's been in his face is problems. Every day he's just been faced with loads of problems and he just hasn't been able to get to where he wanted to be here, which was in bars, singing and things like that. Um, So I'm going to... Hang on, my phone's going off. I'm just going to put it on silence. It doesn't bother me anymore. So, um, I'm looking for somebody who we can go out with today. I'm thinking maybe Akira, but I'm not too sure because they don't really have a good relationship. Um, let's see. Does he have any, like, actual friends that he's good friends with? It's Not really. It's, like, just his family members, really. Um... He hasn't really had a chance to actually make friends, which is a bit, you know, a bit sad, really. But I think Akira, Akira, I don't know how to say his name. Akira seems to be a good person. Oh, no, not invite to hang out. Just send him a text, see if he's going to be free for the day. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't want to invite him over, but OK, that's that's fine. Um, So I'm going to, what should we do today? Well, I, I think, like I said, we're going to go out to the bar. I'm going to leave Penny alone because, you know, Vincent's still really angry at her. I feel like, you know, they should just leave each other alone for a little bit and see how things go. They just need a little bit of space, especially Vincent from her. Um, I don't know what Penny's going to get up to today, but hopefully nothing too bad because I feel like she actually wants to be with Vincent and Vincent wants to be with her, but, you know, they're still going to have to leave a couple of days for the anger to calm down a little bit. And for some reason, Akira's taking his time to come over here. I might just go travel, actually. So let's do that. Um, it is a little bit early to go out drinking, but, you know, he is just really, really angry. So I'm just going to get him to go for it. Um, so where is Akira? I hope that he is in this option because, no, he isn't. So what I'm going to have to do is just go and travel to the bar. And then once I get there, we'll invite Akira over. 
Okay, so Akira met him over at the bench here. I'm going to get them to form a group and I'm going to get them to head over to the karaoke bar. Um, Vincent's hunger is okay, so I'm not going to get them anything to eat yet, but maybe a little bit later. Um, so I'm going to get them to come over to the bar here. It is full already, like 11am, but that's okay, I suppose. Um, some people might be having their own problems <laughs> and a drink might solve that. So I'm going to get him to order a drink. Um, I guess we'll have to come over here, so I'm going to get them to come over here together. And then I'm going to get them to do a little bit of karaoke. Hopefully Akira is a good singer because I feel like um, Aaron's, I mean, oh, Aaron really, I'm hoping that Vincent finds some people that, you know, are actually good singers that could maybe help him with this career. Um, so I'm going to get him to order a drink for the group, maybe something a little bit more expensive to impress Akira to show that, you know, he is still, he just, that um, Vincent has his life on track, but he really doesn't. But I guess Ridgeport sounds good. Um, so that's 50 simoleons, which is a little bit expensive. Um, and he can't get to them, can he? I don't know. I th Oh, okay, you can't. Okay, that's good. Um, so the karaoke is uh, empty at the minute, which is great. So I'm going to get him to order the drinks for each other. And then uh, maybe go and sit down together and just talk a little bit because Akiva doesn't really know a lot about him. But if you remember from, I think it was the first episode, um, you know, Akira. Well, Vincent was, you know, just walking around a little bit, getting to know the place, and he's seen Akira, and he's like, well, that seems like a pretty cool person, and he really wanted to be friends with him, but, you know, he didn't really feel, I uh, felt, <laughs> he didn't really feel like he, f um, he fit in that well, so he kind of didn't really go too much to it, like, oh my god, I can't speak, sorry, oh my god, he didn't uh, approach him in any way, because he was a little bit nervous, but, you know, they seemed to be getting on a little bit together, which is good, um, so they got the drinks, and I'm going to get them to come over here and sit together and just talk for a little bit, and get to know each other a little bit uh, better, because, like I said, they don't know each other, but they, Vincent really wants to. I'm hoping that he comes over here and sits with him, because I don't know if he was, hang on, let's try that again, sit together, is that going to work this time? Um, doesn't look like it. Let's try it one more time. Um, if he doesn't, then I guess we'll just... I don't know what we're going to do. Hmm, he's not coming over. I don't know why. Let's try and reset Akira, see if that's the problem. Um, let's come and sit together, see if that works one more time. Yes, it does. Okay, great. So I'm going to get them to get to know each other because, like I said, they want to... They wanna, um, why did I say they want you twice? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a total mess today. <laughs> I've been recording a couple of times today, so I'm starting to get a little bit tired. Oh my god, really? It's going off again. I hate this, how this happens all the time. Um, oh, I don't know who this is. Um, Ania? Oh my god. Wait. Is this another person with the same name? An Ania? An Ania? I think that's her name. I don't even know. Anyway, I'm going to get them to talk together. Oh, he is a, a jealous sim as well. I think Vincent is a jealous sim as well, isn't he? Let's check. Um, where do I find this out? This bit. So he's a music lover, ambitious, good, and good. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that word. Um, so they're all getting to know each other a little bit. And, you know, Vincent's just... Oh! <laughs> Vincent's just explaining why he's in a bad mood. And saying that he, he caught his girlfriend cheating. And, you know, Akira's just saying, well... Have you, like, looked into the backstory about what actually happened? Because, you know, it, it, there's a chance that it's not as bad as you think. Um, he's just telling that, you know, he saw he saw her maybe doing, like, a romantic interaction with somebody else. And Akira's like, well, you never know. I think you should go and find out some more information first before you start accusing people of doing different things. Because if you really want to be with this person, then, you know, you should try and make this work. And, you know, Vincent's trying to take his advice because Akira seems like a pretty cool person. And, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna gonna um, he's going to take his advice, which is great. So... How long have we got left on this episode? Just a minute or two. So I'm going to um, come over here and uh, get them to go and sing a duet together. Uh, let's do a pop duet of with Akira. I don't know if oh, we can't cho choose a song, but that's okay. So let's see how, how this sounds. I'm just going to turn my speaker up for a second so my tear through. Let's see. Come on. Are they going to start singing? Oh my god. It hasn't improved at all. So it still just sounds just as bad. Oh, great. Okay, so let's take a couple of screenshots. Um, they seem to be having a good time, though, which is great, because Vincent really wanted to find a friend that he could actually just hang out with and not have an, as a girl who, you know, he's going to get in romantic interactions... Roman oh, my God. A, ro <laughs> a relationship with. He just wants a friendship. And he seems to be getting that, which is great. So I'm going to actually end the episode here. He seems to be having a great time, which is good, because he really needed somebody to, um, you know, lift him up again, because he didn't really have a good time yesterday. And that seems to be happening, which is great. So I can't wait to see how that relationship progresses. It is great for Vincent to actually have a good friend now. 
So I'm going to take a couple of uh, screenshots here. And as you can see, he is, um, you know, doing the things that he really wanted to do, was come to Sam my Shunu and improve his singing skill to get where I really wanted to be. As you can see, there's nobody really listening apart from this person, but she actually seems to be enjoying it a little bit, which is great because he was a little bit worried about being embarrassed by people not liking his singing. But he is improving slightly since when he came here, but not that much. But, you know, there is still time to improve. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you leave some comments down below about what you think is going to happen next. And let me, <laughs> I just want to tell you that there's so much more drama to come this week if you didn't know already i'm making a, a sit living episode every day this week if you didn't see the trailer that i put up on the 27th i think it was i put up a 30 second trailer to what's coming up this week on city living anyway um you can go over to my channel and check that out if you haven't make sure you use the hashtag ttvcl on the gallery to submit sims and lots for this lp make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you all next time bye